identified. A man trusted with providing care to a cancer patient now faces charges for stealing her medication. As Sunday Daisy police say Stephen Deems broke into an 82 year old woman's house and stole her painkillers. Kelsey Bagwell sat down with the victim and her family for the exclusive interview. Kelsey. Kim Calvin, a grandma of nine battling stage four cancer, is the victim of a burglary at the hands of the person hired to care for her. They don't want her to be targeted again, which is why they've asked us to hide their identities. A person trusted with a loved one's care at the center of a theft investigation. I would have thought of all the people that come into your home, nurses that go through a home health agency would be the safest people. The family says they hired Stephen Deems, a nurse with National Healthcare Corporation, a week ago. He did an inventory of his patients' medicines last Thursday. The following Monday, chemotherapy day, police say he broke into the home and took her painkillers. He replaced them with Tylenol, a drug that could have killed her. The victim's family now caring for her around the clock, too afraid to trust another stranger or show their faces. You have to really stoop low to break into someone's home who's the weakest and most vulnerable and steal their medication. March 7th for those charges coming up on News Channel 9 at 6 here where police say deems hid the prescription drugs to come back and get later. Kim. Kelsey, thank you. The police report says Deems is employed by the National Healthcare Corporation. A spokesperson there says Deems passed a background check when he was hired two months ago and a drug test just last Friday. And they tell us he has been fired from.